Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough. And I might have done a mistake by letting the stupid uh, Pandorans attack my main base with my pens fully down. So let's jump into it and see how well we can defend. Good. So we don't have War Cry as far as I'm concerned, but. We still have a choke point, just need to find it. I think it's over here. Yep. So we got a buggy. That's good news. Already spotting out some of the enemies. Oh, they start relatively speaking aggressive and oh we do have a siren here a siren banshee that's the one that likes to mind control so much still alive I'll be there. But I think this is a decent position. Unfortunately, not enough to overwatch at the same time. Asian cow has a huge mullet, so with that we should be able to do well. An inappropriate Murphy does have so many great talents, Psychic Scream being one of them. I actually would want him at the front line. Because we can easily panic enemies over very uh, over numerous turns. Okay, enemies are slowly starting, well, not so slowly actually, are starting to trickle in. If I can land a bomb here, we should be pretty, pretty good. Just need to get rid of uh, that yes. guy. Sure thing. More than good. Let's have a look. up three aims deals damage we can't really fully kill him might not be as effective as it could be just due to the position yeah. 
And it also removed inappropriate Murphy's My cover. Turn. Not perfect. Let me see. Got you good. All right, Murphy takes damage. That's not good. Not the person who I would want to take damage. Much better. So if his head is disabled, that is bad because it means no more psi. And he's mind controlled, that is really bad. But we can deal with those uh, three in a second. Moves into the open. And basically gets rid of all three. Mind control broken, this guy is dead. I can make a difference. Seeing how much damage we took. Aiming. Gotta stay healthy. Can't just go down. Still mind control, eh? See, so let me see. She basically has no more armor on her chest. Looking for an angle. Here I come. can kill him later, he's potentially even running away. They're trying to take away the armor. That's pretty clever. But I think we can kill the siren and with that we would have solved a lot of the problems. Reloading. 
Easy enough. Moves up and let me see. That's basically the end of it. She dies, Murphy gets free. I think there is one more enemy left. Uh, maybe two. Good, Murphy is being healed again. Fortunately, the prime reason for taking him. Uh, which is the Psy abilities that unfortunately it, won't work out. Good. Remove the stupid rocket launcher. Still has a gun. We only have two more shots left, so what I will do is I'll move over here. And provide cover. On my way. Good. Now both of them are clustering up, which is good. The damage on the other hand is, of course, not good. But the clustering up was what I was looking for. Can't run all the way to him. That's a shame. Healing one another. Promise he retaliates, which sucks. I'm repositioning. Yeah, that machine gun has the whole problem.
Good. Where did I hit him? Fantastic. Fantastic. We actually made it. Four people defended. Many thanks to Birdie as well. Who has really done a nice job. And Bobora Weber got a level up. No, joined us from New Jericho and helped in the defense. I think without them, to be honest, that would have been a really, really, really close call. I mean, yes, they clustered up and that was the whole reason why our um, car was so unbelievably effective but still i mean Aurora did absolutely well birdie did well as uh, also actually everyone really did fantastic here We still got an invasion, which is going to happen very soon. And we're seeing defending strength 19 and attacking strength 15. Well, that's still going to be really, really, really hard because we do have only rookies. 15, those can be the colossal big aliens. But defending strings 19, I would assume, also means that there are quite a few uh, um, operatives from New Jericho there. So Fort Hayek will be a very interesting uh, fight for survival. We've just helped New Jericho. And they are uh, back to 14 friendly. It's funny, right, how you just can't get over these humps without without doing these missions, so I need to do the storyline missions. There's just no way around that. And we're starting with phase one. The fourth initiation is definitely one as well. And we already have found two active locations. That Pandorian layer here would do us a great favor if we could kill it. So Prime Team will definitely try to get, get that down. Wow, so much is happening. I mean, in in game, almost no time passed, but we have like defended three havens. We got attacked. Uh, I can already see the next missions here: Pandorian Lair uh, here, Pandorian Lair on the other side. And I'm just barely. I mean, we started manufacturing of the Helios, right? So that's now two and a half days or three days, and it just feels like it's not even really halfway done. And we're already way deeper into the missions compared to before. Yeah. The Prime Team is almost level 7. That's good. That Manticore 3 team, which we have seen, JP Pauli's team, did reasonably well. We just need to give them a break now and let them recover stamina and so on. I need to pick up the soldiers here and there. Uh, for instance, team number three still needs a second aircraft. We're manufacturing two Heliuses, so 
they will get uh, the old manticore and once they do have two we can also pick up the guys in frozen circuit for now they are grounded born in the usa seems to have like a slight excess of uh, of soldiers and the other thing that i realized is we have a lot of technicians but we unfortunately only have one set of technician equipment on jp Pauly. Uh, these Tech Op 7 helmets, I'm not sure if we can even build them, I th I'm pretty sure we cannot. No, we cannot, so something, I think uh, uh, the tech since the technicians are in New Jericho, we, we definitely will need to do that second level, um, second level mission, phase one as it is called. We haven't really, um, we haven't really done that, but once we have done that, I think they'll be like supportive and start sharing with us. And if, if this here is an indication of how things are going, then I'm actually still in the early mid game, or maybe I've just not really followed that mi uh, these missions through fast enough. I don't know. Um, it seemed very difficult to uh, to get to those missions uh, just to, due to the range that our airships can fly, right? So that in itself is, is just making it difficult, if not impossible, to um, to get to those missions right away. So maybe I should have prepared that a tiny bit earlier. But we're going to do those missions uh, now. Another problem that I'm seeing is there's continuous uh, continuous action. I don't want others to lose base, of course. I Neither do I want to lose a base. So naturally there is this continuous kind of swing of, uh, of topics happening here and there. And I, I still need to find a good uh, rhythm. If we look at our teams team a fantastic works just like a charm i i absolutely like it okay no surprise right we're pumping a lot of resources in there i even got spare resources so um, if and when we're getting more tech uh, we, we might be able to upgrade dilly g and euler uh, to cyborg so then that's the cyborg team and with very few exceptions, they do have the right weapons. I'm definitely seeing really, really strong equipment there. Which brings us kind of to team number two, uh, which always has the man advantage for being kind of an eight man uh, team. But I can already see that like little cracks in terms of their equipment are showing. Uh, you don't have, uh, you, you, we do have the basic uh, bitch equipment, but uh, you could, always upgraded a bit uh, more for instance this year just the wrong uh, just the wrong ammunition uh, the, the wrong weapon and wrong ammunition so as you can see like already that you you could uh, upgrade quite a bit um, uh, quite a bit more and we do have sometimes just setups that yeah they they need more time to develop the characters so that team i would say is okay not in a horrible uh, state from there on it feels like there is quite a bit of a cliff if we look at team number three which is jp paulie's team keep in mind paulie himself uh, will um, once uh, the helios is built uh, build up uh, essentially be put into phoenix point together with um, with inappropriate murphy and instead, we're going to put Asian Cow into this uh, team. And the two people that are waiting in Frozen, uh, frozen Circuit are the other replacements for that team. So long, uh, long uh, winded way of saying that team can sort of hold their own, but I can already see that the equipment here isn't really on par. So, and anything after that like third team, is complete and utter garbage like team number four uh, these guys look like hobbyists at best we have chosen the cheapest 
armor in existence. Okay, they do have a couple of interesting guns because we just have a lot of New Jericho hardware lying around. But yeah, generally speaking, God, they do really not perform super well. I'm not even sure if this gun is good. I suppose it is okay. So when we're now getting the mutagens, what I'm hoping to do is get team number two and really mutate them, uh, give them a bit more of an oomph and uh, see what's possible with the uh, mutagens. Uh, that resource we haven't really tapped and we have not used any of that material here. I know there are other materials and we've already seen in the building process. There are a couple of, um, of cool end game weapons, but these seem to be like more the unique ones. The chart gun, for instance, this requires two exotic resources like this propane gas, protein mutane, and then another resource. Um, no idea how, how that works yet. I think we will we'll need to figure out just how to harvest more of it. But there are many, many of these uh, ruins that the Prime team, if I had more time, could actually go through and uh, and and uh, explore. So whilst in the early mid game, those runes were just way too hard, I think with a full cyborg team and, and the right preparation, I could pull it off and I would rather take eight people instead of just six, but then uh, that it it should be doable to uh, to fight against uh, against them and maybe get a couple of other mines so I assume there will be other mines to get this material and there is a yellowish material uh, for the melee attack uh, weapon there we go that one looks super sick 220 points of damage for a one-handed weapon that's just ludicrous Imagine the two-handed weapons, it's even going to be more. Um, and if we hit someone with that on the head, shock 400 means everything less than 400 hit points is stunned or dazed. So that'll be cool just to compare that with Maduk's Fist. It's an upgrade in every single form and Maduk's Fist is uh, also a one-hand hammer. Cool. Anyways, these are the thoughts after defending our base. Like I said, plenty to do. It feels the work is never ending. Specifically now that uh, the fight here in America seemed to actually start anew. I am seriously considering whether or not a base in South America makes sense. And if we're just going to hire a couple uh, more, think about it. If we had the fifth team, I, I, I regret saying that. As I'm saying it, I feel I already feel that it's a really bad idea. But just imagine for a second we had the fifth team here in South America, and you would have one for North America, one for South America, one basically for Africa and Europe, one for Asia, and one down here seems like a better coverage um, not sure I'm not sure if the idea of these um, antediluvian runes is that every team should just go there or if the game assumes you do have a prime team like I do have it and you're just flying around but the point is I don't want to uh, create a new team before not at least seriously equipping all of the others so the manufacturing routine uh, will be helios into likely another helios just so that we do have a fast uh, set of aircrafts i really like the speed uh, 650 looks awesome that way we can zoom around and then after that has happened we can start building proper armor like we like we wanted it uh, uh, like we wanted to have it 
and a couple better weapons uh, there are also these modules which are just offering really good benefits for surprisingly low amounts of investment so i would like to build a couple more of these specifically like the blast resistance vest seems such a no-brainer the repellent module equally such a no-brainer removes all mist within two tiles of radius motion detection i don't know yet um, hasn't really worked out so well but maybe i'm just uh i'm i'm just overly skeptical we'll give it a couple more resources a uh, couple more missions good so that's the thought process so far uh, thanks for watching guys if you uh, have built in your own motion detection device you would see that the uh, like button hasn't moved so far i promise you though if you click on it uh, the motion detection will tell you and there is uh, an instant motion with uh, the thumbs directly upwards see you in two days and take care guys bye bye